Okay, I, uh, I want to discuss the difference between being condensed and being low. Okay, now, you know, everybody's, everybody, nobody wants their, their players to play with their knees straight, okay? If they do, they're, they're probably mistaken. Uh, you know, we used to say drag the tail, you know, get the, get the alligator tail low, you know, lower to the ground. Uh, all of that serves to to uh, bend the knees, okay? And, you know, now we're talking gator legs, okay? And the reason we talk gator legs is it's there's two things. There's two reasons, okay? One is, and I've left my shirt, my shoes off on purpose, so I'm trying to get centered here, um, slippery surface, okay? When you have your toes straight ahead, you tend just to put stress on the heel cords and go up on your toes, okay? The lower I go, the more I want to go on my toes, and that that disconnects me to the surface, okay? We've said this before, but I just want to make sure, okay? When I have my knees and toes out, it doesn't put as much pressure on my heel cords, okay? And it uh, allows me to keep my feet on the ground, my whole foot, the whole cleat, Okay, of course, you know, we stomp, okay, we, and we don't step, we move our knees, we lift our knees in order to continue to use gravity as part of our force, okay? So we're trying to go down, we're trying to step down into the ground to use gravity to make us feel heavier. And of course, as we shrink ourselves, as we do condense, we become shorter and less of a lever for our opponent. So it feels like we're heavier, okay? And of course, as we condense our legs, it requires less torque from our hips to get, to get some work done, okay? A long leg is great for distance, you know, if I'm sprinting, but it's not good. Uh, it's not a good use of torque. It requires too much torque. You trade distance and maximum speed for torque and acceleration. Okay. And uh, everybody kind of knows this, I think. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But what we, what we do when we condense is very important uh, for a number of reasons. Number one, if you have your knees straight ahead, okay, your feet straight ahead, everybody likes to talk about that, okay? The problem is, besides your feet, your butt either goes out or your head goes forward, okay? In order for you to stay over your feet, and notice that my head to my feet or my shoulder to my feet is a line, okay? That would be the the, the line of contact, okay, of course, the line would be in a teeter, such as this, okay, so a vector. You see how far my butt is out of that line, okay? But when I go like a sumo, okay, I can get my butt, my big muscles, and it doesn't, the, 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 the glutes don't matter, they don't care if your knees are out or in, they're going to work anyway. But I can get my big muscles closer, okay, to the to the line. So here it is with my knees in, and here it is with my knees out. Okay, the more the more that my hips are close to the line, okay. And some people say, well, knees forward, but the problem with knees forward is your heels come off the ground. Okay, so you want you want to talk about your knees spreading, spreading. To get your hips closer and hey one inch makes a big difference if I'm squatting and I'm squatting like this that lever is making that weight feel a hell of a lot better, bigger because it's, it's creating a torque in my back if I'm squatting like this with my head the closer I can get my hips to the line of force okay the less I feel in my back and I use my hips more my glutes more efficiently okay so when we condense we want to be like a sumo wrestler we don't want to be like this okay now you might want to be in a stance like this 
Okay, we kind of are in between. Okay, we, we think that's fine. When we are going to do work from a condensed position, that's the way we want to be. And when we go to step, I've been calling this a gator step, but I think what I want to call it is a sumo step. Because what I'm doing, if you look at me from the side, whatever area I have to, the wider I have to go, the deeper I have to step. That's, that's basic. And when I add the shoulder roll, okay, I have my knees out, this knee anyway, okay? And when I go to step with the shoulder roll, it's pretty easy. I can either grab what we call a dig, or I can chip and move this way. Okay, if you look at what I'm doing, I'm not going, when I go to dig, when I go to dig, I come back. I put my toe right down the middle. When I go to, to chip, I go sideways, and I keep my toe in, a, in an escape angle, and I am translating. I'm making force facing this way, but making force this way, okay? And everything is, you know, inches of bend, inches of bend. But the more I can keep my knees out, the better my feet stay on the ground, and the closer my hips are, okay, in this case, a squat, the closer my hips are to the line of force, therefore I'm going to demonstrate better strength as opposed to this where I'm falling backwards or this, okay, or any other, you know, knees in situation. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, thanks.